Be careful you don't go too high up because girl, it's gonna make you look like you got a mustache, which I already have that. We don't need to accentuate it. Feel me? Hello everybody, I hope you had an amazing Memorial Day weekend if you celebrated. I'm back on my channel today to share a recent full glam look that I did for a wedding and I'm going to take you guys through this get ready video with me with lots of tips and tricks, especially when it is hot outside and you're going to a summer wedding. Definitely keep watching for those tips. I'm gonna fast forward this part. I'll be sure to link everything below as well. So sit back, relax, and let's get ready for a wedding. Okay, let's do this, shall we? I'm definitely gonna do a primer today because I still want my skin to glow. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish. It's a series of different kinds that they have, so depending on what you want to accomplish with your skin. This one is the Illuminate Glow Primer, and I just love it because it's still gonna allow my skin to feel like it's illuminated underneath the foundation, if that makes sense. And I don't know about y'all, but when I step, outside my skin just like dr gets really dry here with this weather lately so just that extra moisturizing touch that's really the key here i had a zit right here and i totally popped it and i think i might have scarred my nose so i think i have to go see somebody to do like a professional either peel or something to like I don't know, handle that because you can totally see it. This is from Live Tinted. I'm just gonna apply it to like the key areas where I feel like I definitely want to conceal and just balance the color. So put it over these pimples too that I popped. I really like this one. It is in the shade Perk. Going with my big old damp, it's not a beauty blender, real techniques. If you follow me on Instagram at Cezanne, then you saw that this was a recent obsession. It's just so good, cause look, it's like bigger than my head. It just blends so fast. And if you're a bride on wedding day, I mean, you ain't trying to waste no time. So I highly suggest if you're a makeup artist or you have your makeup artist book, tell them to get this from the drugstore. It's literally from the CVS, Walgreens. Um, Real Techniques, it's a really big old one right here. I'll link it below. So for my foundation, like I was saying, I haven't worn foundation in a hot minute. Um, I'm gonna wear one that I really, really love that just really sits on the skin nicely. It's flawless. It actually has skincare mixed into it as well and I'm all for that healthy, radiant glow. It's from um, Ilia and I just love this brand when it comes to their foundation. It's just so good. Um, I have two different colors that are very close, but one is a little darker than the other. I might mix the two. I found that with foundation, there's no such thing as the perfect shade. You always gotta kind of mix the two shades closest to each other just to make sure it matches with your neck. Sometimes I like my foundation even a little darker in the summer just to give it that bronzy look. And I think that's totally fine as long as you blend it down to your neck. Hello. What's up? You watching mama do her makeup? I'm gonna put that over here. No, 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 mama needs that mirror, bubba. I need that mirror because I'm looking at it. That's how I see how I put my makeup on. There's another mirror over here. I'm just using a flat foundation brush. This is from Lancome. And I kind of use it first to just put the product onto my face. As you can see, I'm not blending it yet. And then I'm gonna go back to that damp Real Techniques sponge. I love you. Are you heading out? You gonna go watch Peppa? No, don't touch that teen. It's been a while since I've done a full face makeup tutorial because honestly, when and why would I do that? You know, it's like most of the days I'm at home with the kids, maybe running around a couple errands, but that full face makeup is just unless I have a special occasion like this wedding, I don't usually do it, but I've been really excited today getting ready and just you know having an excuse to get full glam. Now for my concealer, this is Marc Jacobs. Extra shot in medium 250. I kind of like to just start there and then swipe to the just to kind of lift the eyes. Now for the nosy. Mm. 
this thing is what's gonna bother me. So I gotta use a different shade concealer to really conceal that up. Oh no, I got it in my hair. This is the Merit Stick in Sand. And I'm gonna just kind of dab it on with my finger. It's nice and it's like a creamy texture. And I'm just gonna dab that little, I don't know if it's a scar or if it's still healing or what, but going back in with my big old blender. Gonna just blend everything. Tap, tap, tap. Never smudge, just tap. And try to keep it as central in the area that you started it. T, where is candy? Do you even know? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. One though. Okay. I always like to bring whatever's left over just down, just to lighten it up and match it. I'm then going to go in with my Givenchy, Givenchy, <laughs> Prism Libre. This is their number three in the Voila, Vo Voil Rose, I think it's just called Rose. I like to go in with a very light fan brush. I still want my under eyes to feel like they are naturally glowing. Sometimes when you do go in with a beauty blender type of sponge to pack on setting powder under the eyes and just really make the under eyes look heavy and dry. I have found using this lightweight fan brush has been a hack that I love for years and I just kind of go really focusing on that under eye area and just sweeping this product on it is amazing. For the rest of my face where it does tend to get super oily, I not only run this product over it, but I really lock it in. And now I'll go in with like more of a sponge. And instead of using that more pinky shade that I used underneath the eyes, I just go in with like um, a setting compact because this is the one I'll probably take with me in my bag too. Um, it's from Bare Minerals. It's just their original mineral veil and it's in the shade Sheer Light. It has a little bit something to it. It's not like a white, you know? And I'm just gonna tap it onto there and just really go in on my forehead in my T-zone, because that is just where you know you're gonna get oily in like 10 minutes. So going into that area, the chin, that's kind of where I focus. And then, because I'm extra, I go in with an even bigger, ginormous fan brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. And I just kind of run it through that same compact and just dab it over the rest of my skin. This is before I've added, you know, any bronzer or anything like that. I just kind of swoosh it over my neck, my skin, to really lock in the mattified look while my skin is still looking glowy thanks to that primer. So, okay, after that now, I'm gonna go in with a bronzer to do some contouring. I'm into like really rosy kind of blush cheeks. Sometimes the bronzer can really take away from that. So I'm not gonna do too much contouring. Um, I'm gonna be using my favorite one from Fenty and Island Ting and this brush from Patrick Ta. And I actually love how densely packed it is. It looks like a fan brush, but it's actually more densely packed at an angle. And this is like my favorite for contouring because I can just gently kind of target the area because it's so, look how, oh, oh. And then you can even like swipe like that to blend it. So it's just a really great brush I found for this. And then I'm just gonna take whatever's left over, run it through the hairline, do a little defining right there in my jawline, and just through the hairline right here in the ears. You just wanna like make sure you balance everything out. I'm gonna go in with my favorite small densely packed brush. Um, this is from Tarte. And I just take that same bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna use this to actually create like the crease, right? To accentuate the crease. And I'm gonna set myself up for a little contour down the nose with this same color. I just love how it all blends in really nice and it all is sort of like one shade instead of going and getting a different color for the crease. And if you're traveling for a wedding, you don't wanna take a million and one product. So I found that this is just a really great multi-use bronzer and it's great for if you have a similar skin tone. And I just kind of pinch this to go under the eye like that. Contour your lip a little bit, says the girl who said she wasn't gonna be contouring much. Once you get started, you get obsessed. Be careful you don't go too high up because girl, it's gonna make you look like you got a mustache, which I already have that. We don't need to accentuate it, you feel me? 
So after I've contoured my eyes, I can really use that as a starting point, dipping into that bronzer even some more. And I can go start with my eyebrow right here, where kind of your eyebrow starts right there and just bring it down. But same here, start with the eyebrow and then bring it down. And then obviously right here in the middle, let me just do that to blend it out. Ooh, la la. Okay. I just got this new cushion blush I'm dying to try out. Um, it's from a brand called Bobble Elsa. I don't know if I said that right, but they sent it to me and I thought, oh, it's so pretty. It's one of these numbers where it's kind of cushiony and it's in the shade Cushion Blush. Again, I'll be able to link it below, but it says lightly press a puff applicator, clean fingertips or a beauty sponge into the blush. Blend onto the cheeks and remember, a little goes a long way. You can build it as you go. They gave us this kind of a brush, but I feel like it's not gonna be good. So I'm just gonna go with the best tool you have and that's your fingers. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I'm kind of obsessed. I usually use the end of my eye, right here where my eye ends, I bring it down and right there, I just, I'm gonna pat that there. Ooh, this is a nice texture. Oh, this might be a, Keeper! Sometimes things you try out, you're like, oh God, why did I do that? I'm just rubbing it gently and kind of blending it with my ring finger. And obviously the more that you blend something, okay? And wipe it as you go, have like a makeup towel, the more natural they're gonna look. So um, you can even go in, back in with that original damp blender and just look, use that to kind of <laughs> expedite the process. And add a little bit more to this region until I feel like it's nice and balanced. And I just sometimes like to even go like that and a little bit on the nose, on the eye, cause why not? If you notice, I didn't add a primer to my lid and that's because I don't really get that creased there if I have like, obviously like all the products that I have on. Like I've, I've put on foundation, I've put setting powder, I've put concealer, so that usually does the job for me. I knew you were gonna come in here. We've got to go, I'm changing my clothes, we've got to get out of here. Oh gosh, okay, I'm almost done. Yeah, you gotta keep track of time. I got caught in traffic, we've got to go. Okay, I'll hurry. Okay guys, I have to shut up now and hurry up and do this, okay? At least my hair is done and then all I have to do is change. I already steamed my outfit, my dress. That's lovely. I was talking to them, not you. I'm gonna go in with this truffle blush, okay, from Dosa Colors. I love my boo, Anna, who started this company. She's amazing. It's cruelty-free, paraben-free, talc-free, gluten-free. I didn't know makeup had gluten in it. Hmm. Anytime you put liquid on your face, if you know you're gonna be sweating and stuff, you wanna set liquid with powder. So I'm gonna go in with the powder blush and just gently, and I mean gently, dab it over the liquid blush. Even though it was more of a moussey texture, I'm still gonna do that because it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be really hot. Thank you, Stevie, for your commentary. So God knows what Stevie is talking about, what story he's telling me. So I'm just going to silence him here to just tell you guys that here I am using the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. It's one of my favorites to just fill in the small little blanks because as you can see, I naturally have pretty thick eyebrows and I want to keep it as natural as possible. Going in with the Golden Hour, just going to add a little bit of this pretty gold right here just to center crease. Just feel like it's a wedding, so why not add a little pop of sparkle for fun? Oh God, I don't know if adding lashes is gonna be a smart choice, y'all. I don't know if I should do that. Let's do a liquid liner, but I can't do the lashes. I just don't have enough time to concentrate. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Oh my God, lastly, lip liner. You can use Joseph Colors in Truffle. A really good matte lip. And I'm gonna match it with the gloss, the truffle gloss, just in this center area. We were literally racing out of the house, so I didn't even get to do my finished look, but here it is. I'm all ready that is for the your wedding. Look. It is, but like, you know, you wanna kinda do it in the same setting where you do you the makeup. Do like a slow -mo? Do yeah, people still do now that? it's like the lighting is a little off. This is direct sunlight. We haven't been to a wedding in a really long time. 
it's gonna be fun. I love going to weddings. I don't, like, I'm yeah. not gonna know anybody there, but pack my um, Mattify um, setting powder, the lippy from Dose of Colors is in my purse. So I feel like I'm ready to go. And I even ordered the girls some Chick-fil-A oh, and their babysitters. Life. So not bad. And there's my finished day. Finished. This video was so fun to record today, getting back into the makeup chair and just doing a full on glam look. I miss that. All right guys, until next time, mwah, mwah, peace.